am I wrong for prioritizing my happiness at this point? I don't know. Am I? Am I? Is it so wrong to go after what you want as a woman? Is hi guys. Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's another day, another video, and today I know the title is very, very, very. <coughs> I'm very sorrowful and I know you're wondering why I can't afford a smile right now. It's because I'm taking my first step, my first step towards the rest of my life. Yeah, so that is the only way I can describe uh, this feeling. It has been a long time coming. So, yeah, I hope you're good. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new here, kindly consider subscribing, watch another video on my channel. And yeah, so as you can see, I'm in Ukambani. <laughs> can you tell by the boombi? Can you tell that I'm in Ukambani? Yeah, I'm in Ukambani. Now I'm the dust. And I have chosen to walk. One, because I didn't find any do these around. Like there are no motorcycles. Two, because I wanted to talk to you guys and have some personal time and i hope you can hear me over the whole background noises and the wind and everything okay so yeah so first of all let me take you along to how i got here and then we're gonna talk about the whole topic <laughs> yeah i'm gonna update you <laughs> Yeah, so it's early morning around 8, p 8 a.m. and I am in a mat headed to town so that I can take another mat that will take me to Mlolongo at this point. And yeah, when I got to town, then I had to take an Uber because I didn't know the location, the specific location for where I was going. And I knew if I used a matatu, I would struggle a lot. So I requested for an Uber and my Uber driver of the day is a lady this is the first time i have never had a lady uber driver anyway so we headed there there was not a lot of traffic jam and i got to experience the under the expressway so i saw the leaves and everything well it doesn't feel as people claim like like it's a difference in classes because there wasn't any jam Anyway, so we got to Mlolongo and it ended up being quite a distance and the office was in the interiors, as you will see later. So, yeah, so I got there and I started the process that I was there to do. I needed to go there for one of the major steps. I'll tell you all this one on one, but yeah, here we are. We got here and I started my day. Yes, hi. Uh, I want to apply for indexing. Mm -hmm. I was requesting if I can get your Wi Fi password. Wi Fi password. Access to your Wi Fi. Is that okay? Okay, no problem. So today I woke up and decided um, I wanted to make a change in my life. <laughs> And I am going to start by saying how I have been, lately I have been feeling like I am doing the bare minimum with my life. And it has resulted to me becoming somebody, not bitter, I wouldn't say bitter, but I haven't really been happy with the way my life has been, honestly. Is that, I don't know what car that is. Oh, I don't know what it is. I think I'll take a seat here and then just talk and then I'll try to end on a new Okay, so I'm using my earphones to talk to minimize the noise around and I am seated on a septic tank <laughs> on the side of the road. <laughs> yeah, that is how much vlogging has taken over my life. Anyway, I'm in Mlolongo right now and I had come to do something. I'll tell you what <laughs> in a minute. For now, I just want to rant about how my life has been and how I have been feeling like a failure in terms of my career 
and in terms of generally how I have been doing in life other than being a mom and being a good wife I think I feel like there's nothing much more I'm doing with my life and I have been feeling really bitter and it has caused a lot of friction with <laughs> my husband because sometimes I feel like he feels like I am blaming him or I'm complaining a lot yet we're doing well and everything I don't even know why I'm telling you this and I don't even know whether I'll post it but <laughs> it's sad that women are expected to give up everything in their lives and I mean everything in terms of their dreams their careers their everything comes to a standstill the minute they decide to start a family the minute they decide to become uh, wives and mothers like everything has to come to a standstill and it's not like it's not like they are forced to do it honestly I wasn't forced to do it I personally love being in this space I love uh, being a mom, I love being a wife, so don't take this as a complaint. I'm not complaining, I have a good life and I am happy to an extent, but I feel like there's much more that I could do at this age especially. <coughs> Sorry. Yeah, so recently I decided to take a step in my career and further my career i'm a nutritionist for those who are new to our channel but i haven't been licensed yet because at the point when i could have been licensed i decided to enroll no i first got my first baby so i couldn't uh, go like meet the requirements that were required for me and then okay i hope you can hear me i hope the, the wind is not that much <sighs> So yeah, I didn't meet the requirements at the time, so I decided to join my master's program thinking that my master's would not, okay, I wouldn't be required to, you know, like master's will be enough for me to be licensed, but turns out even with your master's you have to meet those requirements, which include going for a one year program with the Kenya Nutritionist and Dietitian Institutes of Kenya for you to be licensed as a nutritionist yeah so fast forward to today that is what i was coming to do i was coming to get my index and my uh and to apply for that in, i will say internship yeah internship and then uh from there after that one year i can get my license and i can finally start practicing as a nutritionist so this is where the living part is coming so the living part is coming because my choice of where I want to do my internship is in Yeri. <laughs> yeah, so relocation is a possibility and I know a lot of people will be like, why wouldn't you go around to where your husband and kids are living? Uh, I just feel like a change of scenery to start with is good. Two, I could move and be coming, but then that brings up the topic of being a wife again and being a mother. We don't get the luxury of choosing the destination of our jobs. Or oh, that is how I feel. I mean, it's not all your relationships. I don't know. Anyway, all I'm saying is it's hard for a woman when you get a job outside of your home county to go and work there and leave your family. It's not it's taken differently than when a man goes like abroad and yeah and do the job there and the wife is left with the kids it looks normal but if a woman walks out and leaves the husband and the kids then it looks as if she has deserted her home it looks as if she wants to like divorce or separate like i haven't even brought this up with anyone else I only brought it up with hubby and you could see the hesitation you know you could see the reluctance in his face you know like anyway uh, yeah that is the whole point of this uh, video <laughs> so thank you so much for listening to me <laughs> and yeah point i am done i am done with the application i finally have my indexing card and uh, i feel good but they have just told me that they so they have just told me that uh, <clears throat> the program starts in January, so I have to sit back and wait until January or Feb. So yeah, 
I thought I will start in September. I was really excited. But I'm not. Oh, that's a clean water car. Anyway, now that I have updated you, let's go home. My sister has promised to buy me lunch. So I'm really excited about getting to town. <laughs> yeah, and just have a good day. Um, Is it bad? Am I wrong? Am I wrong for prioritizing my happiness at this point? I don't know. Am I? Am I? Is it so wrong to go after what you want as a woman? Is it so wrong to want something more than just family, kids, motherhood and being a wife? I don't know what I'm trying to tell you guys. But anyway, let me show you the surroundings of this place. It's really pretty and I don't want to... It's not pretty. It's really dusty. It's really dusty. But kunaka fiti. Like, I, the air is fresh and everything so yeah and tawana niki pikata house you can't have vlog niki watao but if i don't thank you so much for watching i'll see you in my next video and yeah hivi ndivo kunaka can you guys see kunaka hivyo ukambani karibu tuko katangi sasa anyway yeah even ndo kunaka So this is how Mlolongo looks like, or the part of Mlolongo that I'm in. In a car, here you. Here you, here you. Karibu sasa ni anza kusema ni yuko ni yuko ni yuko re anzo. Ah, para kwa nal amar ni yuko le anzo. Oh no no ni yake go. Demuseo. Hmm, demuseo muno. <laughs> I should learn one of the other languages in this Kenya waki. 42 languages na najua tu moja. It is so unfair. Anyway, nimefika kwa highway. And I don't know which side of the road nafaa kuenda kuchukulia gari. Yeah, so let's figure this out together. I start to sail along these ocean waves Nobody knows, nobody knows how to find us It's turning out to be a perfect day I just wanna leave our normal lives behind us So let's get lost out here No one else out here Find ourselves out here oh. We could disappear into this atmosphere Where this water's clear, yeah Thank you. 